Why should you be checking for recalls when a vehicle comes into your shop? We're going to find out next. This video is sponsored by ProFirst. Visit our websites for more information. You're getting ready to start an estimate or perform a repair on a vehicle. While checking the OE repair information, you decide to hit the tab with recalls, and all of a sudden, you're staring at a screen of recall notices. What should you do? First, relax. Most of the recalls apply to a very small number of that make and model. Most of the recalls focus in on a defect that happened on the assembly line and was caught when the vehicle was new or was in the dealer's inventory. Most of the time, a recall will apply to the model and year, but not the VIN number. These recalls can range from an incorrect torque setting to an updated piece of software for a module. These updates and revisions may only cover a very limited range, but when the vehicle is first brought to the shop, check to see if there are any active recalls. To see if a vehicle has an active recall, check the manufacturer's website or visit nhtsa.gov and input the VIN. Since the VIN identifies the vehicle, you can see if the recall was performed and when. Should you check for active recalls? Yes. By checking for active recalls, you can schedule the vehicle for an appointment at the dealer while you have the vehicle. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.